soon to be expert, immersing myself in all things pancakes. This week, I'm going to be trying out a recipe and uh, reviewing it. And it comes from the Fortin and Mason book, The Cookbook. And it's a lovely book and there's lots of different recipes. It's not just pancakes, but um, a whole bunch of specialties that they serve in their different tea rooms, restaurants, products that they carry. They're kind of like a beautiful gourmet grocery store um, that is in London. And I got to go a couple of years ago and it was just a fabulous experience, fab fabulous tea time too. And I'm really excited to try the Scotch pancake recipe in here. This is a lovely book and it was um, purchased on Amazon for $35. Um, I believe in um, England it's 30 pounds and through their website as well, it's um, 30 pounds um, UK. And it's just so gorgeous. So here's a little up close shot. Look at the beautiful um, illustration. It's just so gorgeous. I just, even just for the art alone, so worth it to me. Look at that going. And then here I have mixed my dry ingredients from that uh, recipe uh, from the Fortnum and Mason cookbook uh, for Scotch pancakes. So really excited. Um, so that's my dry ingredients and I'll be adding my wet ingredients next. Also, with the recipe, because the um, book is from England, uh, they use grams, milliliters, um, not cups. So um, the measuring system is different. So you'll definitely want to make sure that you're converting um, grams to ounces, um, which is fairly e easy to do. Um, just I just did a search online. Uh, but that is one thing you do want to take note of when um, using any of the recipes from the book you want to make sure that you are going to do the conversion um, because it's different in the States from the UK. All right, batter's looking great. The batter is really nice. It, it's not too thick and it's not too runny. So I really like this recipe so far. Um, something different about it was that it did incorporate um, some egg white in it, so I'm hoping that will be um, make it nice and fluffy. My first round were kind of on the thin side, um, but I am going to taste them and see how they come out. But they smell good, so there's just a little bit more on the thinner side. I think they're supposed to get a little bit fluffier, so it might have been something I did. Maybe again, I'm still learning how to mix these batters. I tried to be very gentle. I fold it in when it asked me to. I beat when I, it asked me to. Um, so I tried to follow it really well. So, But sometimes I just overmix things, which I need to learn when to not overmix. Okay, so my third batch of Scotch pancakes are cooking beautifully. Complete difference between this and this more golden. I think basically I put too much butter initially um, for the pan. So next time I'm going to definitely use cooking spray um, instead of melting butter on the griddle. I, I put too much probably. Just a little um, spray of cooking spray would have been enough and I think that would have made a huge difference and it wouldn't have pulled down the pancake as much. Okay, so here we have the pancakes. Differences in the first, second, and third batch. Um, but I'm still excited to try them. Uh, the only thing that I took, took a little taste um, already, um, I might have, I might have just the salt and maybe um, possibly how much egg or buttermilk's in there. But let's do the taste test and see what we think. The Fort Anna Mason um, recipe, it is Scotch pancakes with marmalade. So um, I did uh, purchase a marmalade. I tend to like to get jams and marmalades from more like the gourmet grocery stores, um, like William Sonoma or Sur La Table. Uh, but with quarantine, and I'm not too close to Whole Foods right now, um, I just went to a local grocery store and I got um, this Cross and, Cross and Black Ball Orange Marmalade. It is made with Seville Orange. Um, this, I think, is from the Smuckers brand. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we'll see how it tastes, but um, again, Choose your favorite marmalade. Um, some are a little bit more on the bitter side, which is what I personally like. I like to taste more of the rind and I like it to be like really thick. 
Um, or you can go with more of like a sugary one, a more liquidy one. This one kind of has a medium feel to it. I've had like thicker where there's a lot of rind. Um, this one has some rind in it. So, but I'll give it a shot. But again, choose your favorite marmalade because it can uh, make it or break it for you depending on the marmalade. Okay, the moment of truth, I'm gonna try my scotch pancake with marmalade um, using the Fortnum and Mason recipe. Again, it's my first time using the recipe and we'll see how it tastes. It tastes good with the marmalade. I think I would like these a little bit fluffier, but again, that could have been me on my end. The flavor is nice. I'm actually going to try it without the marmalade just to see just how the pancake tastes. It's a little bit, it's richer. Um, I think it would, if it would have been more fluffy, it would have been better. The taste is nice though. This actually tastes much better than my buttermilk pancake feel from last week, which was a complete disaster, by the way. I mean, it was just, but I hope you had a good laugh though. I know I did. Um, but so far, if you like, I don't know. I love the taste of the marmalade with the pancake. I just think that I should have had them a little bit fluffier. I'm gonna try the recipe again, and maybe I will post another quick note um, to see how it went on my second try. But the flavor is nice. I love the marmalade with it. You can also put um, like whipped cream with it. You can use it with maple syrup, but we'll stick to the recipe. All in all, I think these are nice. I think these are really nice if you want to have like a little tea time with pancakes, um, very British style. It's really nice. Um, and again, this takes me back to Fortnum and Mason in London and how much I enjoyed my trip there and visiting their shop. If you um, ever go to London, definitely stop by there. The store is beautiful. It's just huge and there's so much history and such lovely, lovely products there. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little video that I did uh, reviewing one of the recipes um, from the um, Fortnum and Mason um, cookbook. Uh, definitely, if you want a lovely cookbook that has a lot of um, fun recipes, a little bit of history, beautiful illustrations, and um, just really nice writing as well too. I mean, Tom Parker Bowles, he's got some really um, nice writing in here. So. I definitely recommend this book. It's just a really nice book to include with all of your other cooking books. And I hope you loved it. And definitely um, give the Scotch Pancake a try as well if you want to try that on your own. Thanks so much for stopping by here at Pancake Expert. And again, um, we also will post the link um, for the cookbook down below um, in case you're interested in getting it. I believe it's uh, 35 um, on Amazon if you want to try it. But all in all, I think this was really fun, and I definitely want to try some other recipes from um, this book as well. And hope you had fun. Thanks again for joining Pancake Expert. Have a great day.